Hello and welcome to another edition of We Stream, the official reaction channel of Epic Rap Battles of History. Today we're going to be checking out Bruce Banner versus Bruce Jenner. Before we do, if you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome to the chaos. And secondly, don't forget to drop a comment, a like, and hit subscribe with the little bell so you could stick around for the whole journey. I also make other musical content. Underwater, everything was darker. They won't find me, never left a marker. Rest in peace, though we never met his daughter. Won't ask for forgiveness because he failed to be a father. And all of that is the plug. So, here it is. The day has come for the infamous ERB Bruce versus Bruce. One that is uh, hotly contested. A lot of people say this is the worst ERB ever. Uh, most, most commonly the reason it's cited is because certain characters don't get enough bars. I think like Hulk or something doesn't get enough bars and they're all given to Bruce and then some political things or I don't know. Uh, to be honest, even though I usually just ride the train of when people ask me, what's the worst ERB? I'm like, Bruce versus Bruce. I've actually never seen this <laughs> ERB. So I'll probably have to change which ERB is my least favorite unless I agree with you all that this is the worst. But I've actually not seen this one. I never saw it when it came out. I never realized it was a thing. And by the time I heard it was a thing, everybody said it just wasn't worth checking out. And so I was like, okay, fine. But now here I am. Here I am to witness it with you all. It's one that I had forgotten about when I first started reacting to ERB. I was only reminded that it existed again by people mentioning it all the time and i was like oh yeah i never watched that one but i'm reacting to it now because caitlin jenner formerly bruce is now possibly going to be you know governor of california we'll see arnold schwarzenegger did it when gray davis got pulled out and now caitlin's turn so the the timing seems right let's see if it's as bad as people say or if people are just dumb or both let's go I'll school you in this battle of the baddest Bruce with your He-Man haircut and your Daisy Dukes. <laughs> Alright, so we're starting against uh Bruce Jenner. He's making fun of the Daisy Dukes, you know, Olympic attire. And the uh, haircut. What what I... <laughs> something I, I think that deserves mention is Family Guy, way back before Bruce was Caitlin, called this one. And I'll just insert clip. Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. That just always gets to me. I hear you're good at running. You're just like the Flash. Especially in the 100 meter ditch your wife dash. Well, let's be fair. I think we all know now the reasoning behind that. Chase in the lab, acid, base, and treble. So let me break you down on a molecular level. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are you gonna do here, Bruce? You turned one gold medal to a lifetime of green. The most overrated athlete anyone's ever seen. He's got a point. The marketing was pretty genius for how Bruce, like, was a figurehead for athletics. Need to carry fatherhood across that finish line. Ah, I kept up with the Kardashians, but left some kids behind. Uh oh, he's getting mad. He's getting mad. I kept up with the Kardashians, left some kids behind. Look, the, the whole, the whole thing with that family. There's, there's a lot of chaos there. Run along, you'll thank me, cause I'm getting kind of crazy. Trust me, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I really like the the way that the beat was working with this whole thing and all the like. The strings hitting and twisting. So far, this is pretty uh, standard ERB affair. Nothing, nothing to to write home about for for good or for bad. But let's see. I think you're in your element when you're behaving badly. Honestly, you're kind of boring when you're happy. This sounds like his Jim Henson accent. I think he just went to a default. You're boring when you're happy. Uh, that's rude. Poor. Poor Bruce Banner. He is kind of boring when he's happy, though. Fair, fair points. Wait, did he say boron? In your element, when you're behaving badly. Honestly, you're kind of boring. Ah, elemental. Uh, I get it. There's a double for boring. Bo I didn't catch that the first time because of his accent. I didn't read it. 
Nice. When you're happy, I'll lap and pass your ass ten different ways. Athlon athlete, blast for you like some gamma rays. All right, so he say he'll he'll blast through you. Expression like gamma rays. You know, Gamma Ray's blasting through Bruce Banner wasn't a bad thing, though. They gave him Hulk powers. Of course, Bruce Banner would say that's a bad thing. But the rest of us get to be like, it's Hulk, though. The truth is, there's no truth between the bruises. You're a drifter being useless. I'm a winner, no excuse. So he's going to a lot of the, especially the made-for-TV Hulk. He's just a drifter. Always walking down the road, sad and alone. You get it. Maybe. I don't know if you don't know the Hulk TV series. Beautiful women all up on my jack. Well, you're not interested in them, though. I got a home gym. Check me on a cereal box, doc. Of course, I don't know. Is is Caitlyn into men or women? I don't know. I, I don't care. And yeah, there you go. Wheaties boxes and stuff. Bruce marketed himself super well. You big green freak, don't try to flex. If it wasn't for your cousin, you'd never have sex. So he's... Wait, is his cousin Hulk in this sense? Is Hulk the only one that gets laid? I guess by She-Hulk, yeah. You're so strong when you get mad. Too bad you can't go back and protect your mom from your dad. Ooh. Calm down. The, the claws came out. Okay. All right, Hulk, what are you going to do? Because it looks like you're about to turn into the Hulk. I'm actually... It, it is just now occurring to me, aside from them both being Bruce, why they did this? <laughs> because they both <laughs> changed forms. <laughs> Yo, usually the people that hated on this uh, for political reasons, I, I think it was like conservative folks. But honestly, that's that's <laughs> the concept of this battle is actually kind of offensive, isn't it? <laughs> that they're paired up because they both mutate and change. <laughs> you know. Uh, just saying. <laughs> Who is this? Who is playing Hulk? This dude's jacked. Yep, and they're not shying away from it either. They're doing... <laughs> they're doing the whole transformation scene. <laughs> If you're, like, super conservative so far, how could you be mad at this? Because, to be fair, <laughs> they are being a little bit offensive here. But we'll see by the time I get to the end how I feel about it. I'm politically centered, though, so it's going to be a lot more difficult to, like, trigger me with something that's, like, politically against my views, because almost everything is politically against my views. So I'm just kind of numb to it. Uh, that face don't give you just one more thing Bruce do for cash. Oh, yo, saying that's one more thing Bruce do for cash? That's a low blow, Hulk. Literally, too. Best thing you make, Kylie ass. Best thing you make, Kylie Jenner's ass. <laughs> if you don't ride that with Hulk smash, then this is the worst battle ever. She 18, Hulk smash. Yay! All right, fuck y'all. I like this battle so far. There's a lot left in this. Damn. My teammates taught him, and I have to forbid this. I'll put a javelin through your jolly green discus. <laughs> Probably not the type of girl I'm gonna let you smash on. You'll get the medal without the decathlon. Damn! All right, so Caitlyn, she's coming back like, first of all, fuck off. I'm going to shove a javelin through you for creeping on my little girl. And you get in the metal without the decathlon. Guns, bullets, metal. Okay. Hulk is Hulk. No identifiers, man. Me thinks Kate might understand. Bro, <laughs> let's go. Hulk is Hulk. No identifiers, man. Caitlin might understand. Yo. <laughs> oh, man. They, uh, this is definitely an edgier ERV. The fact that a lot of people... Said it was like some liberal agenda thing. I, I mean, a lot of these bars would not be kosher in far left leaning circles. So I think I think maybe it's a case of just uh, uh, triggered conservatives. No gender issue. This gender issue. <laughs> no gender issue. This gender issue. Just you being you is enough to diss you. Bro, just you being you is enough to diss you. <laughs> 
Oh, man, Hulk, calm down. I understand that you hate yourself, but you don't need to blame yourself. You a tiger, stop trying to tame yourself. You gotta be big enough to contain yourself. All right, so now Caitlyn's trying to give advice to Hulk, just telling Hulk, just be yourself like I was. She's, she's trying to, like, big sister him. And get hit with a little forgiveness. Be green, it ain't none of my business. Hey, be green, it ain't none of my business. Um... I'm, I want to make sure I'm thinking I'm interpreting that right. Hold on. And get hit with a little forgiveness. Be green, it ain't none of my business. Be green, it ain't none of my business. So, uh, I think there's a couple of meanings here. I think you have the, uh, kind of Kermit meme thing. You know, the, the drinking tea, none of my business, be green. I think be green also is in, like, environmentally green as well as Hulk is green. And if you don't know, Caitlyn Jenner, she's, she's pretty well conservative. So that could have another meaning of saying... You know, I don't care if you want to be green, be environmentally friendly or not. It's not my business because she's got more of those conservative Republican values where, you know, you stay away from me, I'll stay away from you, which a lot of people don't realize that. You know, one of the reasons that California is trying to inject her as the new governor is the same reason they injected Arnold Schwarzenegger. About the only way you can get conservative leaders to be governors in California is if you oust the current Democrat with someone who's a celebrity who most people wouldn't realize is conservative. That's how Arnold Schwarzenegger got in, because he was a conservative uh, celebrity that liberals would be willing to put in. And that's why they're trying to get Caitlyn Jenner now, because she's a celebrity. But what most people don't realize is she's politically conservative. The more you know, just because you're transgender doesn't mean you're politically left, if you didn't know that. Business. You think you're looking good in those torn ass clothes. You're lying, which means you need a new wardrobe. All right, so... Uh, these are more filler bars here. Alright, so this is going on too long without a Hulk rebuttal. I think this is where people don't like it. Some of these bars are kind of filler and Hulk hasn't said anything for a minute after they're back and forth. Maybe Hulk will have something to say at the very end though. We already did the mommy daddy jokes. Uh, all Hulk said was, uh, Hulk is just kind of sad now. All, all of the mental games have gotten to Hulk. And you down easy. That's oh, oh, she's still going. All right. All right. So uh, now, now I see the annoyance. Nobody likes when a battle is all one person. We want to, we want to see the battle. So I think this is the part where it, it probably gets uh, most of its hate from. The earlier parts of this had a lot more grit to it. Under your microscope, you got no neck, but you still fucking choke. Hey, I like that one though. You got no neck, but you still choked because you know no. He's got, you get it, big old muscle. No, you, you, it's obvious, but it's fun. The battle with me, you're gonna always be pissed. So the Hulk will stay forever, neither Bruce will exist. Hey, that that was actually a really good ender, um, because if you're always gonna be pissed after battling, the Hulk will stay forever. Neither Bruce will exist. Because Caitlyn took over the one Bruce, Hulk took over the other Bruce. That clever. Is that the end, I'm assuming? Hey, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, Caitlyn's last verse, it went a little long, but I don't even think this is in my bottom five ERBs, if I'm being honest. So, so there you go. That was my first go at Bruce versus Bruce. Uh, pleasantly surprised. I really thought it was fine. I enjoyed that pretty well, but again, I'm not... I'm not extremely conservative politically, so a lot of this just probably just doesn't trigger me the way it did the more conservative audience of ERB. I, did, I didn't enjoy how long Caitlyn's last verse was. ERB's done that a few times in other battles. They did it with Biden and they've done it a few other times. I'm never a fan of that. I want, I want more even bar uh, dis dispersion. But all in all, yeah, this isn't even a bottom five ERB for me uh, on first glance. I thought that they were the right amount of edgy on both sides of a sensitive political issue. And yeah, <laughs> I liked this one. Sorry about you if you don't. Uh, but leave a comment below about your favorite or least favorite things about it. Or if you, you know, dislike me for liking this. I don't know. Just engage with the channel. It helps the, the, the content. Consider joining the channel. You get cool emojis and live streams. It premiere chats and stuff. And it's all fun. And it supports my family. And uh, speaking of live streams, tomorrow, Friday, if you're watching this when it comes out on Thursday, uh, we're giving away a pair of headphones like these studio industry standard headphones so show up to the live stream for a chance to win those and uh until next time ice scheme you scheme we all scheme for ice cream bye